Okay, hello. So today we're gonna talk about all things UT, everything you need to know, tips I have, all the fun stuff. So I made a video pretty similar to this about three years ago. So that video still gets some views, so I figured it was kind of time to update it. I still get questions on things from that. So here is the updated version of everything you need to know about UTK. So for those of you who don't know, I'm a senior and I'm getting ready to graduate in May. At the time I'm filming this, my last semester classes actually start tomorrow. So kind of bittersweet, but I've had the most wonderful experience here. And I certainly couldn't have imagined going anywhere else for college. So I'm a communication major with a journalism mind. So if any of you are thinking about majoring in those things and have any questions, feel free to ask me. I would love to help you out however I can. I remember when I was a freshman, I was literally clueless on like everything. I had no idea what I was doing. There just really wasn't a lot of information out there about this kind of stuff. So hopefully this video helps you, especially if you're thinking about coming to UT or you're kind of iffy on it, maybe this can kind of help you decide if it's the place for you. So first of all, UT is an amazing school. If you're thinking about coming here, you definitely should, or you should at least look into it come and visit if you can. I'm filming this in January of 2023 and so this past fall we had a really great football season that got us a lot of media attention that we have not had in a very long time. So because of all of that there's been a huge increase in applications this year so I know that the university is being a little more strict on who they let in because there's just not as many spots. So I definitely would say that UT has become a much more competitive school in terms of application. I do have some videos on like football season and like fun stuff that happened last semester um, that I will link down Below. So if you want to see what that looks like go and check those out So the first thing I'm going to talk about is the campus life and kind of the atmosphere here The campus life here is awesome. There's tons of school spirit If you've ever heard of the song Rocky Top, that is what we play at almost every single event <laughs> Sporting events, random events, you could be going out with your friends one night and it just comes on probably like five times throughout the night that's kind of our signature thing so if you're coming here I would highly recommend learning the words to Rocky Top but like I mentioned in the fall there are football games to go to which are so fun tickets are ten dollars for students and they're done by a lottery system now so basically the more sporting events that you attend like volleyball games basketball games baseball games stuff like that you earn points and so the amount of points you have increases your chances of getting a ticket for football games um, because again the demand is so high and they just can't fit everyone in the student section so that's how they do it now like I said I am a senior so I personally didn't have any issues getting tickets this past year but that's of course because I've been here for four years and I've just built up so many credits my sister's a freshman right now and she couldn't get tickets for several games so that's just something to be aware of but like I said there are also other sporting events there are basketball games we have our lady vols and then the men's basketball team so those games are also really fun to go to and then baseball games in the spring are very fun so no matter what season it is throughout the year there's always something to go do on campus, um, which makes things really fun. So campus itself is located in the heart of Knoxville. Um, we're about one mile from like the downtown area. So there's a lot of really fun things to do close to campus. Downtown Knoxville has a lot of like restaurants and nightlife. There's like a farmer's market, literally you name it, it's probably there. And then right next to campus is a street called The Strip. That's what we call it. Um, there's a lot of nightlife there, restaurants, and it's right next to campus. So if you live on campus, you can walk to it. That's kind of the central area where everyone kind of hangs out. Restaurants I would recommend are Guess's. That one's kind of a UT staple and that's been there for forever. My uncle went to UT back in like the 90s and that was one of his favorite places to go to. So that's a place that's definitely stayed a classic. Sunspot is great. They're actually doing a lot of renovations on the strip right now. So there are some things getting knocked down so they can build more housing. <laughs> um, so a lot of the really good places on the strip are being like torn down. Also, if you're 21, there's Cool Beans. It's a really fun place to go to, very chill. They have silent discos throughout the semester, which are really fun. Um, those are my favorite things to go to. I'm actually going to it this week, so I'm really excited about that. But on campus itself, there's so many clubs, so many organizations that you can get involved with. During my time here, I've been in Greek life, which for me, that was a really great way to meet people and find a really good group of girls to hang out with. But I would say that UT isn't a school where you like have to be in Greek life to have fun I guess. I have some separate videos on like sorority life and my experience and stuff so I'll link those down below if you want to hear more about those but UT definitely isn't one of those schools where you like have to be in Greek life to have fun or whatever. It's that I would not say it's like that at all. There's so many clubs, so many organizations that you can get involved with too. There's clubs for people in your major, there's intramurals, there's the UT ambassador program, those are the people that are like the tour guides. Um, for UT, I know several people who do that and they absolutely love it. There's campus ministries. My personal favorite is the walk. It's actually off campus, but there's like thousands of UT students that go to it and it's really fun. So if you're interested in that, that's my personal 
recommendation. But my advice would be is to just know what you like to do and find organizations that will support that because that's gonna bring you a community of like-minded people, which is so, so important to find in college. I mean, there's like 30,000 people that go to this school and I'm sure the number is only going to increase throughout the years. So the possibility for friendships is literally endless. Like there's so many people you can make friends with. And especially when you're like fresh out of high school, you don't really know what you're doing. College is filled with so many opportunities and there's so many new things you can do. So now is really the time where you can kind of figure out what you like, who you want to be around and what you want to surround yourself with. I've always heard the saying that's like, you're a combination of the top five people that you spend the most time with. So finding a community that really supports what you genuinely love to do, that you're not changing yourself for, I think that's really important. That's my little TED talk. I got a little sidetracked there. That's my advice that I have. But because UT is so big, like finding a community was so important for me to have a good experience and I found that and I'm very thankful for it. So yeah. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna talk about is where to live. So as I'm filming this in 2023, again, this could change in the future. There's currently a large housing crisis in Knoxville because UT has admitted so many students that there's not enough housing for them. So finding housing can be really hard, but more on that later. So if you're coming to campus, the first thing you're probably gonna wanna figure out is where you're gonna live. If you're a freshman, you will more than likely live in a dorm. I'll have a link down below with all the dorms and information on them. So if you're curious, you can go and check that out. So my freshman year, which was like three, four years ago, freshmen were required to live on campus. Now, I don't know if that's changed now. Um, or that if that could change in the future, but that was just how it was when I was a freshman So I lived in the dorm South Carrick. It was an older dorm, but honestly, I had a lot of fun I feel like there's like this stigma now around like oh I don't want to be in like the oldest dorm because that's just gross Like honestly if you end up in an old dorm, it's really not that bad Like you will live you will be fine. I may have had some old issues or two, but I survived I'm still here. So if I can survive it, you can survive it too But during my time in Carrick, I did make a few videos on like what my dorm looked like so so I will have those linked down below if you want to go and watch them. But UT has several different dorm styles. They have suite style, apartment style, community, all of the dorm styles you can think of, UT has it. Again, I'll have a link down below where you guys can go and check out the dorms for yourself. There's pictures of what they look like. So go and check that out if you're curious. So typically after your freshman year, you will move off campus. I started living off campus my sophomore year and I still live off campus. And I'm not gonna lie, I was kind of nervous about it at first because I was like, I'm gonna feel so disconnected from like campus and stuff. But honestly like it's fine it's great having like your own space your own room especially after living in a dorm like you are sharing every bit of that space with someone else so when you have your own space it's great but there are off-campus housing options available these are not through the university these are through like private owners of the properties and like apartment complexes so like i said i've lived off campus for the past three years and i would definitely look into that especially if you're wanting to stay in knoxville year-round because typically leases will start in august and end at the end of july so like i said there is kind of a housing crisis in knoxville right now people not being able to find housing but hopefully that gets better in the future but my tip especially if you're looking to live off campus is to get on it as soon as possible like people sign leases like literally late august for like the next year so get on it as soon as you can so that you have the peace of mind of knowing that you're gonna have somewhere to live. So there's my advice for that. Now, next I'm gonna talk about dining options and meal plans. So there are several dining plans available for on and off campus students. As far as I know, there are currently three operating dining halls on campus right now. They actually just opened a new one. I haven't been to it yet, but it's apparently really nice. My sister goes and eats that with her friends all the time and she loves it and she says that it's really good. So hopefully I'll make my way over there before I graduate and try it for myself. But again, I'll have a link to the dining website below so you guys can go and look at that check that out see what options you might like there's more in-depth information on there I'm just kind of covering like surface level stuff but there aren't just dining halls on campus there are several restaurants such as Starbucks Einstein's Chick-fil-a Panda Express blends bowls there's a lot of options and I'm sure that there will be several more options that open in the future but what I use to pay for everything is dining dollars this is preloaded money onto my student ID, which is what we call our vol card. So that's just what I used to pay for my food throughout the semester. So it is kind of like prepaid, but obviously if I don't use it all, I can get that money back at the end of the semester. So it's nice just to kind of have that worked in as like a prepaid thing, knowing that my meals are taken care of if I need them on campus. So next I'm gonna talk about transportation. So if you want to have a car on campus at all, you will have to buy a parking pass. So the type of pass you get depends on if you live on campus or if you don't live on campus. So if you are living on campus, you will need to buy a non-commuter pass and if you don't live on campus, you will need to buy a commuter pass if you're driving to campus every day. So these passes determine which parking lots you can park in. However, I will warn you, parking can be very difficult on campus. If anyone has ever watched my vlogs of like me going to class, there are several 
situations where I cannot find parking. I'm just keeping it real. That's a very real thing that I deal with every single day. But there's just so many students who have parking passes that it is so hard to find parking, especially in the morning. I will say the morning is the worst. So just keep that in mind, especially if you're driving to class, definitely block out some time to make sure you have a parking spot so you're not like late to class or you don't like miss class because I'm just saying I've definitely missed class before because I've not been able to find parking. So don't be like me, get there early and find parking if you are driving to class every day. So there is also the T, which is the bus system that we have on campus. So any student can ride it. It can take you from one end of campus to the other. There are different routes that the bus takes. So you can look at that on the Tennessee app. If you're coming here, you need to download the Tennessee app right now. It has campus maps, literally, Everything you need to know is on there. You can look at your schedule, the bus schedule, buy football tickets on there, literally everything, just download that app. Okay, back to transportation. But we have the T bus system and there are also things called T links that you can call. They can pick you up wherever you are near campus and take you to wherever you need to go. It's kind of like an Uber for UT students. It operates on the weekends too until like very late in the night. I don't know if it's 24 seven, so don't quote me on that. Um, but it's very helpful and handy, especially if you are out very late and you don't want to walk home or it's very cold or rainy and you don't want to walk anywhere i've definitely used it several times so that's a really great amenity that uc has so yeah so i'm going to touch on my experience a little bit before i sign off so i've had the most wonderful experience at ut and i can't believe that i'm getting ready to graduate it's insane but if i could choose coming to ut all over again i 100 percent would this place is so special to me it feels like a second home to me um, I'm very sad to be leaving. I'm very, very thankful for the time that I've had here. Um, and I couldn't imagine my four years being literally anywhere else. This place is truly just so special and there is literally no place in the world like Knoxville and UT. And I'm very, very, very thankful that I've had the opportunity to get to come here. That's something that I certainly don't take for granted. So if you do come here, literally soak up every second you can. It goes by so fast. I feel like I was only a freshman like a year ago. So the truth is time literally flies when you're having fun and that's how I felt while I'm here. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope that this was helpful, especially if you're thinking about coming here. Feel free to check out any other videos I have about UT and thanks for watching.